All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Urutia here, and I'm going to go over unit one, lesson seven, practice problem number three. Here is a scale map of Lafayette Square, a rectangular garden north of the White House. Part A, a scale is shown in the lower right corner. Find the actual side lengths of Lafayette Square. Part B, use an inch ruler to measure the line segment of the graphic scale. About how many feet does one inch represent? All right, for part A, I'm going to use my uh, definitely not patty paper math paper and measure the scale. So this part right here is the scale. From this point all the way to right there, that is 200 feet. And then you see where the 100 tick mark is right in the middle. So I'm going to mark my uh, math paper. right there. So I know this is 200 feet. So now I'm going to measure the side lengths of the park or of Lafayette Square. So I'm just going to go from here to here. There's 200 feet. There's 200 feet all the way across. And then I'm going to mark 100 feet here. So from there to there, I get to about 700, and then this little part, maybe seven, 725 feet, 730 feet. We're just estimating that little portion there. Now we're going to do the uh, width of the park, and I'm gonna I'm going to do it the same way. There's 200 feet. There's 200 feet. 200, 400, and about 450 there. Okay, part B, use a ruler to measure the line segment of the graphic scale. About how many feet does one inch represent? So I have my uh, ruler here, and notice here I'm measuring it in inches. Use the inch ruler. So there it is. There is about one inch. So it's about right here. That's right before the 200. So I'm going to probably go 190 feet. As long as you're measuring it on your ruler and you're seeing it, yours may be different because the way the printout works, your copy may be different than this copy. So it's not exact as long as you're close. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.